Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to another episode of Azario's Taste Test. Trying something new. I got some background music playing. You know, this is a uh, Spike Spiegel made by uh, Saeed. So Spike Spiegel made by Saeed. And um, yeah, so hopefully you guys can still hear my voice good. And today we're going to be trying out something new because I haven't done one of these in forever. So we're going to be trying out the new Ghost Pepper Whopper from Burger King. Now, some of you may have seen videos of people um, trying this out. And I think last year, not last year, but I think like the year before that, Burger King did like a like a Halloween Whopper where it's supposed to have like where supposedly it had like black buns but it was really just like green dye that they made to look black and then people were saying that you know they it turned their poop green or some whatever like that I'm not expecting anything like that to happen with this but who knows so let's go ahead and open it up and by the way this Whopper was $9 by itself kind of pricey so this is so let me uh wrap this up. So this is what the Whopper looks like. Not bad. This camera is amazing, by the way. This 1080p 60 frames per second camera. I mean, you can literally see the, all the movement. But um, yeah. So this is the Ghost Pepper Whopper right here. As you can see, it has black sesame seeds on it. Or at least I think that's sesame seeds. I don't. I don't really know. It's fast food. Ain't no telling. They have, um, I think these are, these little green things, I think these are, are um, jalapeno battered, uh, jalapeno, uh, excuse me, uh, chips, I'm talking too fast, <laughs> I thought these are jalapeno chips, um, right there, they got three strips of bacon on there, right there, I don't eat bacon, so I'm gonna be taking those off, um, it's just not my thing. They have spicy queso cheese on here. And I think that's it. That's all there is for the toppings. They have spicy queso cheese on here. And they got regular cheese that also got the ghost pepper in it as well. So get a better look at everything. I think you guys can see it pretty good right, right there. Yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good look. So first things first before I try this I gotta take this bacon off because I don't eat bacon I just don't uh, I know some people are like oh, you don't like bacon look some people just don't eat that shit no more unfortunately I'm one of those people hopefully that doesn't bother y'all too damn bad I would like to think this isn't taken away from the experience of the flavor of the Whopper at all because uh I think I still got all, especially all the heat components. I think I have them all on there. I think that's pretty, pretty good, right? All right, so we're gonna fold this back on top of the top of the whopper. There we go. And there it is, the ghost pepper whopper. Doesn't look as bad, you know. It looks somewhat similar to what we would deal with on the in the commercials. Um, I was just hoping I had a chance to try it because I didn't get the the black uh, Whopper last time. So, with that being said, let's go for a bite and let's see if this is as hot as they try to claim it to be. Let's go for one more bite. Turn this down a little bit, because sometimes I have the music too loud for my own good. So first let me say this, it does have a kick to it, 
But like with many fast food restaurants, anytime it can, ooh, never mind, that goes the spice. It's starting to build up a little bit. It's not anything I can't handle, but you feel the spice. They still have flavor to it. It's just not a lot of heat that I would expect. You know, low key, a lot of y'all don't know this, but I have a high spice tolerance. I've been eating spicy foods since a kid. So I have an extremely high spice tolerance. Something like this isn't gonna, isn't gonna um, make me cry or sweat. But um, it's flavorful. I will give it that. It's kind of, it, it, it's that heat that has a lot of flavor to it. Most of the heat is actually coming from the cheese and the, uh, and the jalapeno chips. The bread doesn't really have, I, I don't know if they tried to mix hot sauce with the bread, bread dough, and it came out like that, but they dyed it orange with something. So I guess it got a, a little pumpkin Halloween feel to it. But um, it's actually pretty good. The sad part about it is I, I would like for them to have kept something spicy like this on the menu permanently, you know, because once you have spicy foods for a long time, it's like other foods that don't just don't have that kick to it, it ends up becoming bland. But it's actually extremely tasty. It's on the pricey side, you know, because of the ghost pepper, I'm assuming, um, and all the other spicy ingredients that they normally don't have at Burger King. But... For the experience of a flavorful Whopper, I think it is a little bit on the pricey side, but it's worth it, I guess, if you want to give it a try. Um, if you have a low spice tolerance, oh yeah, this is going to kick your ass. But for somebody like myself and other people that got high spice tolerances, this isn't even it. Matter of fact, I need to probably throw some sriracha or some or some other <laughs> spices on this just to, you know what I'm saying, get the feel. But other than that, I would say this is a pretty good, a pretty good Whopper. So... Here's how I rate my food. A thumbs up, a sideways thumb, and a thumbs down. For me, flavor-wise, this is a thumbs up. For the price, I'll probably give it like a middle thumb. Um, but outside of that, it's not a bad, it's not a bad sandwich. It's pretty good. I like it. Oh, and some of y'all probably noticed the pictures in the background. Shout out to Wiz Yakuza because I got these from him. I got another one right here, I got another one right there, and I got a bunch of others that I haven't even hung up yet. So, <laughs> yes, that's the Avatar. That is Goku. For those of you who read the Dragon Ball Super manga, that is actually a lenticular from with Broly, Goku, and Vegeta, and they all kind of do like the little Susanoo, little um, ethereal energy thing. Even though Goku was the only one that did it, they kind of, you know, Weird Jakuza kind of put it with all three of those guys, you know, Super Broly, um, Vegeta, and Goku. But other than that, it's a very flavorful sandwich. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't taste anything without the bacon. Like, the bacon doesn't make or break this, so it's definitely worth uh, giving it a try. So, like I said, for flavor-wise, I give it a thumbs up. For the price, I kind of give it a sideways thumb, but it's definitely not a thumbs down. So, with that being said, thank you guys for joining me. Peace, and remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy to Ghost Pepper Whoppers.